sometimes they go the last three weeks go to a high altitude as a boxer I'd never do that if you want to do that go 10 weeks out and start very slowly because what happens once you get there your mind slows down so much because there's no oxygen I mean it's like way less oxygen in the air so everything slows down you're going to get hit more because your reflexes are going to go down. It's very dangerous. A lot of these I read a lot of boxes coaches, about doing that and UFC guys too, going up real high altitudes. No, listen, if you live in Denver, yeah. that's a different story. You live there. You're used to it. You're that. Now, don't do it for three weeks. If you want to do it, go at least, I would say, 10 weeks to make it very safe. And in the first two weeks, don't spar. Just get used to the altitude, to the, to the oxygen. And once it's there, because... All these Olympic level athletes, right, or the trainers, they don't do high altitude anymore because you have less productive workouts. So what they do, they build a high altitude home at sea level. So now these, these, these athletes, they live in the house, they eat in the house, do everything in the house except the workouts. So two times or three times a day, they go out for an hour, an hour and a half, whatever it is. They work out, they have the best workout because they have all the oxygen the body needs, you know, and especially with sports like boxing or, or, or fighting, you want to be very sharp because in training, you don't want to get hit, right? And then they go back into the house and because you live there, you still spark the red blood cell count and then you still have uh, a better stamina. Everything is balanced out. You're adapted to it, and you have better stamina. That's it. Right? And a lot of these guys they sleep in high altitude homes, uh, tents, you know. And and a lot of these guys they wake up, and I heard you, Usain Bolt, even a, a, a very smart trainer yeah. that I have, wakes up in the morning. Heard that's so. First thing they do, it's the uh, uh, inspiratory muscle training. Same thing as the auto trainer. This thing. Yep. It's the first thing they do. Training the breathing muscles.